So you've just got done finishing your first creation in Procreate and you want to learn how to share it to social media and so on. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video and I'll also show you at the end how you can share your work as a time lapse of how your creation came about. So the first thing we'll do is once you're in your canvas itself and you want to share your design, all you have to do is go up to the actions panel at the top there and you'll see this icon here, the share tab. And then really for social media, the only thing you're really interested in is sharing it as a JPEG. And if you want to share it with some transparency in it, where certain areas are transparent, you can share it as a PNG. You can share other alternatives, but that's more for bespoke scenarios. So I'm just going to show you the basics today. And once you hit JPEG, it's going to give you the option of where you want to save it to. And from here, you can save the image that will save it to your gallery. And then you can go ahead and make your way over to Instagram and share it from there. Now you can actually share your creations from the gallery view as well. And you can go ahead and simply swipe on any design from right to left and you'll get this little box pop up and you'll have the option here to share. And again, it will give you the same formats that we saw a second ago. And again, you're interested in JPEG. But from the gallery view, you can also go ahead and share multiple creations at the same time. So if you use this option up here for select, each of your canvases now has a little checkbox and you can simply select the ones you want to share. And then you can just go up to the share icon here and then select the image format again and share it to wherever you need it to go to. Now, as I mentioned, there's also a way of sharing your work as a time lapse. So for example, if we dive into any one of these canvases, let's go into this one here, and we go up to the wrench icon again for our actions, you'll spot that there's actually a videos tab. And if we tap on video, it will then go ahead and show if you have a time lapse recording turned on, which you should do by default, you'll be able to simply go ahead and tap on time lapse replay. And then in here, it's going to show you how your design came about. And you can go ahead and watch the whole thing through. You can even swipe from left to right to skip ahead or go backwards in it. Now, the fun thing with this is if you hit done here, we can actually go back up to the actions and in the video tab, we can go to this option here of export time lapse video. And if we tap on export time lapse video, you can pick a length. So if it's a canvas that took you a very long time, it's going to take up maybe a minute or two in its full length but otherwise you can ask it to create a 30 second variation and then it will export your time lapse in 30 seconds. You can share it to Instagram or TikTok. And just like before, this time we have the option here to save as video and then that will save it to your gallery and how you configure the time lapse. If we go back out to our gallery view and we hit the tick here in the top right and we go ahead and create a new canvas using this icon here. First of all, of course, we can pick our dimensions and you can make this whatever dimensions you want usually about 2000 by 2000 for me. And then once you've selected that, you can actually go to this option here of time lapse settings. And if you select that, you can actually change the resolution of what your time lapse looks like. So if you want to share something really, really crispy at 4K, obviously the larger your canvas size, the better that's actually going to look. If you can match your canvas size to the resolution, it'll be a perfect one for one. But you can change your resolution and you can also change the quality of it as well. Bear in mind, the larger the canvas and obviously the larger the settings in terms of lossless and 4K, the more size that this particular canvas is going to take up. So bear that in mind. If you go lossless and 4K, it's going to take up a lot of storage. But the default is 1080p. That's what I would recommend for social media. And then just play around here. I would probably go studio quality if it's something I was going to share regularly. And that's it. You can hit create and go into your canvas. And that's it, just a really simple set of methods of how you can share your work using Procreate to social media, friends or family. If you found this video helpful, drop a like down below. And you may also find these two videos helpful on screen now. Subscribe for weekly Procreate content and I'll see you in the next one.